Agroecology works at the cross between three important things, social, economic and environmental issues. Agroecology exists, is a reality. It exists in science, it exists in practices. Over 30 countries have policies on agroecology. So by connecting what already exists, we can provoke this transformation that is needed by the, by the 2030 agenda. But we are missing many things. What we are missing? We are missing support. It's a political support, but it's also a support of everyone to understand what is agroecology. Agroecology calls for innovation. We have to think of innovative markets. We can no longer rely on the markets that are only benefiting few farmers. We have to imagine innov innovation in agriculture that use better the solar energy, use better the capacity of the soil to maintain and sustain production, that give us water, clean water, and use less water for agriculture. You know that 60-70% of total water today is used for agriculture. So if we have to maintain a good agricultural systems for us and for our children, we must think how better use the natural resources that sustain agriculture. Agroecology has many advantages for farmers. First of all, it maintains their land, their resources for themselves, for the children and for the societies around them. So it has a tremendous value in terms of ethical value and maintaining the life on our planet. It has also a very strong economical value because by reducing the the dependence on input and relying more on the capacity of ecosystem to recycle, to use the biodiversity of in its own soils, it can sustain the production without depending so much from external inputs and from spending money from external inputs. That's also why we look at agroecology as an innovative um, instrument to develop new technologies, new solutions that can provide tremendous opportunities of jobs to remain in rural areas and to give a future for the many young people and women who depend today on agriculture. We must look behind every apple, every piece of cheese we eat. We must think there are farmers and there are ecosystem services that support what we eat. We cannot forget it, we must work for them all together. So FAO is engaged in this work, has organized this symposium and is hoping to get a lot out of it, is hoping to get energy, participation, consensus. It's also hoping to develop more work around the 10 elements such as closing cycles, biological cycles, economical cycles, social cycles. We want to protect biodiversity and we want together to launch a scaling up initiative to develop a work plan, to develop national activities, global activities together with our partners and with the many partners who want to join us and work at national level and at global level to enhance agroecology as a sustainable response to the challenges of the 2030 Agenda.